I think everyone here knows what a website is. I mean, you're on one right now for what it's worth. But road geeks, on the other hand, are definitely something of a minority in the zeitgeist of the Netscape. So I've decided to compile a list of road geek websites that I've found interesting over the course of this YouTube channel. The first one is rather obvious, but it's Wikipedia. When I first started out this YouTube channel way back in 2022, I was surprised to find out that there was a Wikipedia article on Interstate 72. Not only is there a Wikipedia article for almost every route in our nation, but the references section at the bottom of each page also links out to other information about said route. All in all, an obvious choice, but still good if you're researching a road and you need a good jumping off point. Number two is Google Maps, more specifically Google Earth, even more specifically the time lapse which shows satellite data from Google Earth going all the way back to 1984. Now, this one isn't very good for screenshots, since for some odd reason you cannot zoom in to save your life here. But if you've got good eyesight, this one can be very interesting. I can't tell you the number of times I've gone and used this to check out a section of road when it was built. So, yeah, this is a heck of a lifesaver if you don't want to spend hours sifting through old state map archives. And, speaking of which... Number three is the state map archives. Now, this one can be a bit icky depending on which state you live in. Some states, particularly those in the Midwest, do quite a good job of archiving their old state maps. Others, however, aren't great about it. Some states, such as North Carolina, have an archive, but they are only for the ones at every new decade, not for every year. And most of the New England states just don't have any archive at all. I've included a Google Doc in the description in which I track down state map archives to the best of my ability. If any of you find one that I missed, you can feel free to comment on the document. That said, if you live in a state with a state map archive, these can be really fun to look back on and are incredibly useful for doing research, especially when it's timeline based. I used the IDOT archive a ton during my analysis of I-72. Number 4 is AA Roads. I think AA Roads is kind of the go-to website for road geeks out of all the ones on this list, but it totally makes sense. I mean, where do I even begin? They've got Interstate Guide for one, they've also got a wiki with over 19,000 articles, though they appear to be picking backing off with the Wikipedia articles, but whatever. They've got the Shield Gallery, and I mean, don't even get me started on the forums. If you're a rogue geek of any kind, I absolutely suggest you at least check out AA Roads. If you're a diehard rogue geek, be warned, because it's very easy to lose an hour or two in here. Finally, this last one really isn't as much of a website as more of it's just a fun thing to toy around with, but we've got the Highway Sign Maker. Now, this stems from GitHub, so there are multiple forks of it depending on where you go and what you look up. I personally use the MapLoud DKIOS fork, since I find it to be the most stable, though it does lack in options compared to some of the alternatives. But yeah, this is a neat little tool where you can design your own road signs, and this is another one where you can easily lose a half hour if you're just messing around with it. Anyways, that's the list kind of short, but I'll see you all in my next video in which I'll be returning to a topic from a long time ago, but that's not till next year.